welcome back to my channel my name is Beverly Ramahu and I am a fragrance enthusiast but I also do a bit of lifestyle vlogs so if that is the kind of content that you are into please make sure that you have subscribed and also clicked onto that notification bell so that you're notified every time I drop a new video today's Fragrance review is going to be on a fragrance from Klix. Um, this is an affordable fragrance. Let's get into it. Today's fragrance is Atomic Candy Glow. And let me tell you something. What attracted me to buying this fragrance was the packaging. I was walking down the aisle and I saw this and I was like, oh, okay, I want to try this. Hmm, okay, this price is actually okay. Or one, so I don't mind buying it. You guys can see it is an orange and pink box, you know, and it actually opens up like this. And at first, when I opened it up, I was like, hmm, this is quite tricky how is this going to sit with the rest of my fragrances so it turns out that it actually does not sit like this or even like this but oh sorry that's a bit loose but you basically have to put it on a flat surface like this this part is flat and that is how you place it this is gloss and these two sides are plastic the atomizer is pretty decent and you know what i really loved that they carried out the whole theme throughout you know they said the the, the name is an atomic candy glow so with the candy parts they even made sure that the bottle actually imitates candy or, or an eclair you know a sweet and I, I particularly loved that. That's what also attracted me to the packaging. Besides maybe the outside glossy part that actually showed what the bottle looks like. I was really impressed with the whole shape and size as well. This is a 30 mil. I love that they went for a 30 mil and not a 50 or a 100. Because I feel like that would be overwhelming. And it wouldn't be aesthetically pleasing that is also one thing that i liked you guys can see that um the packaging of this fragrance is cute and playful and this is particularly appealing to a young crowd i really loved how they took initiative in curating a whole experience when it came to the packaging of this fragrance i just wish they'd also extended the same energy to the juice that's inside you know when i first sprayed on this fragrance there's sort of a lilac note that i picked up on i couldn't really decipher the other ones and then throughout the whole cycle of this fragrance there's a musk note that is present but in certain degrees and then when it reached like the final stage there's sort of some sweetness that comes through but the, the mask is also equally present, you know, though there's like a subtlety to both of them. This fragrance was described as being confectionery. That, that's quite debatable for me. Like I did not find it to be confectionery. And because they had said like the name is an atomic candy glow. I was thinking of the atomic bomb. So I was I was really expecting an explosion of really heavy, sweet gourmand uh, scent in a way, you know, or gourmand notes in a way. But hey, I, I did not get that. The longevity and the silage here sucks. I, I really wish they'd maybe had something, an, a sweet note that is really heavy here you know this is marked as an edp but it it did not even perform as one like had it even been marked as an edt it would have really been a weak edt you know and because of that i feel like this is really perfect for your teens it is perfect for teens as an everyday fragrance 
when somebody wears an everyday fragrance and they're in close proximity with other people you don't want to get them um, a fragrance or you don't want to wear a fragrance that is really powerful or nauseating this fragrance is is perfect as it is not nauseating at all they also listed that like there's a battery caramel to this fragrance and personally for me i i did not find that to be the case i really struggled to find that it could just be me you know other people could still maybe pick up on that but i did not at all you know but otherwise guys um i loved the price point i love that it's a clicks fragrance so it is widely available it, it won't be that difficult for you to get it and i feel like it's perfect for your teens um it's aimed for that demographic that's what i personally think so yeah this is my whole experience with this fragrance guys thank you so much for watching up until the end love and light Mwah.